Hello everyone, and today I wanted to talk about the new trailer for Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Now, what you're seeing here is some footage from me playing Spider-Man PS4 back uh, a couple years ago. Uh, what I just saw, what I just saw, what I just saw was amazing. The way the suit moves, the way the suit uh, interacts in fighting, the mechanics, the way it fluctuates around Peter, his attitude, it looks amazing. I am so excited to play this game. Now, well, the biggest thing I wanted to talk about was the lizard. Uh, the last we saw Dr. Connors was back in Spider-Man PS4, uh, in the sp um, spoilers. In the ending, he talks to, no, in Miles Morales, he talks to um, Harry, Harry Osborn. He talks to Norman Osborn, and he says, hey, um, are you sure you want to let Harry out? And he says, yes, it's time. Now, what I'm really excited for is the switch between Miles and and Peter, and to see how that works, and if there'll be co-op, which would be amazing to have a Spider-Man PS4 kind of co-op kind of game. I am so excited to see what this game is offering. The way the symbiote moves and grabs people, and the way Peter like just basically doesn't act like the Peter from the first game. He acts like Peter, like he's pissed, like he has the symbiote and he knows it, and everyone else knows it, and he instills that fear into everyone. It's crazy good. And I'm so excited to see how like it's going to go, how it's going to feel. The what I loved the most was how the tentacles would come out behind Peter, like especially when Peter when uh, Miles was chasing down the lizard and he was following his trail, and as he was getting closer and he saw the lizard shed uh, skin shed, in the way Peter just drops down, he has a bunch of tentacles around him. It was so scary at the same time, but so cool to see. That was so cool. I'm sorry if I'm geeking out, but you got to agree with me when I say that is so frighteningly cool to see P this kind of Peter Parker Spider-Man in a different light with the symbiote. Because we've never had a game where the symbiote was a factor besides Web of Shadows and Spider-Man 3, which we don't talk about. Spider-Man 3, the video game, kind of didn't happen. Web of Shadows did that kind of thing, but this, I bet, is probably going to be the best interpretation of the black suit we have seen in a very long time. Now, what I'm hoping for is that we at least get a couple classic suits for the symbiote, which would be awesome. Um, maybe some kind of... I'm looking to at least have maybe the animated series Sp uh, Black Suit Spidey, uh, Secret War Spidey. That would be amazing to have. It would be so cool. Insomniac, I am praying to the gaming lords that you succeed with everything you're doing. This game looks amazing. I am so excited. I'm going to be finishing off my um, uh, The City of Never Sleeps DLC uh, playthrough tonight. I am so excited to see what Insomniac's Spider-Man 2 is going to have. And the last but not least, Yuri Watanabe is what I wanted to talk about last. Last we saw her, she was basically turning into uh, the Streak, or I forget her name. But she turns into something... She... Uh, gets upset because Hammerhead killed her men and pushed her over the edge. Peter says, "I will come after you if don't make me to. I don't don't make me come after you, but I will." Now that is something I am probably the most excited to see because I loved Yuri in the first game. She was awesome to see in the first game. I loved her character, her voice actor, uh, who I cannot mention. She was a great actor, uh, the, the young woman's win, uh, name, but she kills it. I loved her interaction with Sp Spider Cop. It was just, it's, it was great. I loved it. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to see where that goes, to see how Spider-Man, symbiote Spider-Man, black suit Spider-Man, black Spider-Man interacts with Yuri and how that's going to go along with MJ, um, Silver Sable, maybe. I'm curious to see how how this is all going to play out, you know? I'm very, very, very curious about how they're all going to interact with Peter's new attitude and how he got the symbiote from Harry in the first place. Uh, I'm, I'm very curious. I know that he said that the lizard was the key to helping Harry because Harry was dying. So that means he either took it from Harry or Harry broke out with the symbiote and he get the fight venom early on or he took the symbiote for himself because he knew it was killing Harry or it would be a bad influence and it would turn him into Venom. 
that's the idea anyway. That's my that's my theory. That's just a game theory. But yeah, um, I am super super excited to see. Excuse me, what is going to happen with this? The miles key mechanics, uh, everything's great. Um, they definitely changed up the new art style, which I love. They changed the new art, um, the layout of like the health bar. Miles has new me mechanics. You can basically get into the water now. It looks like you can do some, um, like how you would jump on vehicles, like right here maybe. Yeah, you could jump on vehicles and uh, like just chump them down like that. It's going to be maybe more uh, water-based now. And Craven the Hunter's in it. That's even cooler. It seems like they're going after the lizard because the as you as he, as Craven said in the first part of the video, uh, he says he's looking for a real challenge. And he finds the lizard and uh, one of his bo boys goes, hey, New York City, the lizard's there. Then he probably finds Spider-Man. And Spider-Man's not too happy, especially with the symbiote. So it's, it's going to be a wild ride. And it said fall 2023, which I am very much looking forward to. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a fantastic day. I am the Unknown Hunter, and I will all see you in the next video. Bye-bye.